Hi there, this is Dennis with Peak to Peak Pest Management again in Whistler, BC. We have um, a unit here we're taking a look at. It's a hotel room, an SRO. Um, we have an inspection of the bed and areas to be done. So we, the tenant is reporting no activity, hasn't seen anything, but we're seeing some bites on their uh, on the shoulder and neck. So just give you a quick little quick little uh, inspection video on, on what we do and, and how to do it. So we want to initially we want to check this has covers on it which is great so what's going to happen is that we'll put these on and it gets zipped up at the side here uh, and then tied off and the bed bugs will not be able to come in or out. Uh, so we'll just take the mattress. You want to move very slowly when doing a bed bug inspection. You don't want to be throwing things around. Uh, we don't want any airborne nymphs or, or bugs themselves shooting around the room. So this one, we're going to go through the bed, the sides, the tufts, the seams, usually on the mattress itself um, inside here. So we're not going to take this off. I'm just going to do a quick little, quick little check of the top. Doesn't seem to be anything that we're seeing out of the norm. And then you want to, very important, it's usually up around the head area then you know where they breathe where you're gonna get some activity so seems so here we have a nymph right in there this little guy here uh, and then as well as we're getting some fecal spotting around here uh, so we know and then up around the zip around the outside here we got another little guy here oh we actually got quite a few we have more down here so right now we would stop doing inspection on this mattress and bring out either the vacuum or immediate removal we would use HEPA vacs to uh, to get these guys out of the way and remove from the population ah. so we will take it a step further and just flip the mattress or the box spring sorry and let's see what we have going on underneath so As you can see, this would be the foot area, the bed, and we've got there's about half a dozen or so going up around the sides. Don't see too much around here. Up around the head, another guy here. Oh, there's another large adult here. And underneath, we've got some more activity up in here. Is the brackets of the frame you want to check. So you can see up in here you have some some casings and whatnot. So this is the kind of thing you really don't know what's going on in the bed. I have them starting to stir up now. So we will have to stop this prematurely. We'll go into the vacuuming to uh, to remove them right away and then we'll we'll get this shut this room down and get it ready for for treatment. So these are the kind of things you really don't know what's going on underneath the bed. If you if you're noticing bites or your tenant or you know, hotel guests are saying, oh, I'm getting some bites for it. You want to just shut it down for the day, take a look, get us out there, make sure it is what it is, okay? Uh, another important part is checking the, the dresser drawers, you know, which are right beside the bed. Anything kind of within a 5, 10 foot area of the bed, and in a hotel room or a um, SRO or anything, but it's usually the, the case or any bachelor units are usually, you're going to be looking everywhere, but we want to be taking this and all the joists of the, of the dresser drawers. Um, you want to take them all apart. Check every little crack and crevice, right? All these guys to make sure nothing's tidy in here. During treatment, we'll be treating all of these to assure that nothing is, is in there. So let's put this guy back in. Uh, from there, we want to also, again, just like everything else, we want to check all the baseboards. Even on your curtains here, this is a big one. You want to check the curtains, turn them over, right where the lip is. Right in here, we want to go down all the seams and then all the curtains, make sure nothing's tucked in there. And again, during treatment, this is all part of what needs to be done, our checklist, and what has to be done. So again, this is uh, Dennis from Peak to Peak, 604-932-2222. Give us a ring.